Hello everyone! Welcome to LG Images Vlog PH and this is the new LG Images Vlog channel. Get ready for a great viewing experience. Bringing up your home the classroom feels like you never tried before. LG Images Vlog PH conducts interesting vlog style discussion and offers new features for you. Engage yourself with this new way of learning where technology and creativity take place. Together, we learn as one. Do not forget to subscribe, like, and share. And don't forget to hit the notification bell button for more exclusive English updates. So, I'm gonna tour you in my classroom in 3, 2, 1, let's go! Today's lesson is all about the four conditional tenses in English. I'm going to focus on the basic structure and the meaning of the conditional tenses in English. If you studied this lesson before, it's going to be awesome for you. But if you are not familiar with this conditional tenses, it's going to be exciting and interesting. But before we proceed to our main discussion, I will just inform you that we're going to discuss and focus on the first conditional which is the zero conditional. And the other conditional tenses will be discussed on our next video episode. So, without further ado, let's get into the presentation. So, what is conditional tenses? A conditional sentence describes a condition that is necessary for a particular outcome to occur. The conjunctions if, even if, whether, whenever, and unless often appear in conditional sentences. The meaning of the conditional sentence determines which verb tenses need to be used in the independent and subordinate clauses. Okay, so that is the reason why the if clause here is very important. It has a big role actually in this matter or in this um, discussion because the if clause is the event or a situation that must happen in order for the other thing to happen. So, the result can only be happened if the if clause occur. And that is also the reason why it is called as conditional sentence. Because it is a condition that is something that you need to do in order for something else to happen. So, that's easy. A while ago, the word independent clause is being mentioned in the presentation. It is a clause that can stand by itself like a simple sentence. It contains a subject and a verb and makes sense by itself. Okay, so how about subordinating clause? Subordinating clause cannot stand alone as a complete sentence. It is also considered as incomplete thought because of subordinating conjunction that is included in the sentence. Now, let's talk about the zero conditional. Zero conditional do not talk about the past, the present, or the future, but it talks about the things which are always true, like scientific facts. Number one example, if I mix hydrogen with oxygen, it turns into a water. Sometimes the things that we talk about are not facts but rather general truths. Another example, if you fly with a bunch of airlines, the drinks are expensive. Look, the zero conditional composed of two ideas, the one with the if clause and the one with the result clause. And where is the base, I mean, where is the if clause? based on our example sentence. Very good. If you fly with a bunch of airlines, and how about the result clause? The drinks are expensive. Very good. So that is zero conditionals. It talks about general truths. Now let's proceed to our next slide. Okay, now, so let's look at the similarities of these four conditional sentences over here. Allow me to read. For zero conditional, water boils when it reaches 100 degrees. First conditional, 
If you study more, your English will get better. Second, conditional. If I had control over the food sources, I would end the world hunger. And lastly, for our third conditional, if you had studied more, your English would have improved. What have you noticed in our four sentences over here? Okay, so all conditional sentences have if clause and a result clause. It's also uh, the thing that I mentioned a while ago. Another similarities. Okay, so they use two clauses. There are two parts of each sentence separated by a comma. Friendly reminder, we use conjunction in English to join two ideas together in one sentence just like this conditional sentences. And the conditional sentence use if to join two ideas together. Okay, I have two examples here. Number one, if people keep going outside, they are prone to get the virus. Remember that what is stated in the if clause is expected to happen. If people keep going outside, I'm sure that these people are really prone to get the virus. Another example, whether I whenever I receive a relief, it feels happy and satisfied. Remember that the if clause is the event or situation that must happen in order for the other thing to happen. So whenever people receive relief, it always feels happy and satisfied, feeling blessed. Okay, so in order for you to create a sentence using zero conditional, do not forget this pattern. If or when plus subject plus verb in base form plus comma plus subject plus verb in base form. Or the simplest way, do not forget to use subordinate clause plus comma plus simple present tense. That's easy. Think of an if clause and think of the result that is expected to happen. And that's it. That's the formula or the pattern in creating a sentence using zero conditional. By the way, do not forget, zero conditional is used for general truth, habitual action, and a lot more. And that's it. I hope you learned and enjoy our discussion for today about the zero conditional. Do not forget that the result can only be happened if the if conditional occurs. So this is your teacher, Teacher Yui, and see you on the next video. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you.